re reality. One thing went wrong in my life, two things went wrong, and I'm far from the Almighty. The Almighty says, no man, I actually would like you to get closer to me. That's why there are challenges that you will face, but those challenges are limited. And secondly, he tells us, I will never burden anyone with more than they could actually shoulder. I'll never place on your shoulders more than you can cope and manage, so you can. He wants to push you, he wants to, he wants to ensure that you do your best, you do better than you did the last time. Take a look at the schools that we've all been to, and many of us probably at school right now, don't they push you with a more difficult exam every time you pass one. You get a certificate, and you go to a more difficult stage. You get a certificate, a more difficult stage. So the Almighty tells us when He loves us, He will test us in order for us to gain closeness to Him even more. And when does this end? It doesn't end in this world. This world, the nature of it, is that you will be tested right to the end. So much so, the last portion of your life is looked at as the most difficult portion, especially when you're old and people say now you're old and you're, this, and you're thinking of death and death is supposed to be, according to human standards, one of the most, one of the saddest occasions ever for a person, but a believer knows. That's probably the best day ever. I can't wait to see my Lord who is merciful, kind, forgiving, compassionate, loving. Oh, I can't wait to see him, to meet him. I'm convinced in my heart that the day I meet the one who made me, he is not going to let me down. Whoa, he's not going, how could he let me down? Ah, shaitan will come to you and make you think for a moment, you know what? Look at the sins you did. Look at what you did. My brother, my sister, that's your past. P-A-S-T. That's what it is. It stays there. It will not come with you further. If you seek the forgiveness of the Almighty, it's wiped out. The one who sought forgiveness from a sin is equivalent to the one who didn't sin. Because Islam is based on forgiveness and the mercy of the Almighty. When the Quran starts, or when you want to begin recitation, what do you say? You seek the protection in Allah from shaitan, the devil, the accursed. And then you say, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, in the name of Allah, the most merciful, the most gracious, the most beneficent, the most forgiving is included in that because it's part of the mercy of the Almighty. Doesn't that show you that the Almighty is most merciful? So we keep going, my brothers, my sisters.